simultaneous processing of multiple concentrated cellular specimens, with tissue crit more than 50% for making cell blocks with micro units. Note, recommended to watch after studying and watching video titled, Processing of Single Sediment Rich Specimen at a Time to Make a Cell Block with Micro Unit. The videos proceed at rapid pace for quick viewing. Please pause and play as needed. Tissue crit is proportion of sediments, with diagnostic cellular material without blood, in final concentrated specimen. Concentrate by centrifuging, as much specimen volume, as possible to get maximum amount of sediment. To pour off the supernatant gently, by inverting, the centrifuge tube, by 180 degree in one smooth movement. Pour off the entire supernatant. Return the tube to its starting position, as quickly as possible, to avoid accidental loss of sediment pellet, especially of blood-rich specimens. Resuspend the sediment, in minimal supernatant part, to get more than 0.5 ml, off final concentrated specimen. Structure of micro unit explained with longitudinal and cross sections. Line up and label as shown. Match each of the specimen with all the components of the kit. Transfer 0.5 to 1 ml of concentrated specimen with transfer pipette onto the top of the sponge disc so that all the wells are flooded with the concentrated specimen. Place the used transfer pipette in its place. Repeat the step for all the specimens. Wait for 10 minutes for the liquid component of the specimen to be absorbed. Add 4 to 6 drops of 10% formalin gently over all the sponge discs imbibed with respective concentrated specimens in micro units. Wait for 10 minutes until most of the formalin is diffused into the absorbent pad. Wet the tissue sponges by immersing in transfer container with 10% formalin. Lay flat the wet tissue sponges into the bottom of the tissue cassettes. Place the cell block, making unit with sponge disc, into the respective tissue cassettes. Dislodge the sponge disc from the transparent sleeve onto the wet tissue sponge by gently pushing down with tip of the transfer pipette previously used for the respective specimen. Repeat this process for all the specimens one by one and set aside the consumed black carrier plates with absorbent pads and transparent sleeve for discarding. Put tissue paper cover on all the disc sponges. Place the second tissue sponge, moistened with 10% formalin. Snap close the lid of the tissue cassette. Stack and collect all the cassettes. Fix the tissue cassettes with bottom down and 10% formalin for at least 2 hours in horizontal position using packing material such as balled up, paper napkins or other suitable materials standardized by the user. Let the cassettes be fixed in horizontal position with bottom down for more than 2 hours. Transfer for tissue processing under cell block processing protocols. Discard the consumed materials. Summary of procedure. Line up labeled concentrated specimen tubes. Label and line up micro next gen cell blocking units. Label and line up transfer pipettes for each specimen. Label and line up tissue cassettes for each specimen. Procedure Steps Step 1. 
add concentrated specimens on the respective sponge discs, and keep the respective transfer pipettes in their places for use at later stage 2. Dislodge the respective sponge discs with concentrated specimen into the respective tissue cassettes. Step 2. Add 10% formalin fixative to all sponge discs with concentrated specimen. Step 3. Transfer the sponge discs with the tip of transfer pipette into their tissue cassette. Step 4. Put all the sponge discs with concentrated sediments and covered with tissue paper cover between two tissue sponges into their respective tissue cassettes. Step 5. Let all the cassette fix in horizontal position, with bottom down for more than two hours. If cross-contamination is anticipated, fix and transport each tissue cassette individually, instead of stacking and transporting multiple tissue cassettes in one container, shown in this demo. Procedure steps on one page for quick reference. Important note. Use standard precautions for processing all body specimens. Red color of specimen is for depiction purpose only. It does not imply that all specimens would be red or pink. Although 10% formalin is used in the demonstration, any other reagent or fixative may be replaced for 10% formalin as required by the user protocol.